Oh man, some of the good old days of Shadowhunter. Yeah, yeah, it's sort of semi behind us now, but yeah, doing well. What are you doing here tonight? You're not Australian. I'm not Australian, no, much as that gets confused on occasion. Um, no, I'm not. One of my best friends who was there, he's gone now, um, is on the board. So I was very fortunate to snag myself an invite to support, you know, actors and artists from all over the world. So you have to tell me what post Shadowhunter life feels like. Do you feel a relief? Do you feel you miss it? A little bit of both? I do. I miss it. Of course I miss Shadowhunters. You know, it was it was an, a really incredible show that, that touched so many people all, all over the world that we'd, we still sort of go and meet as and when we can. I was very fortunate to step into into work again almost immediately afterwards. So I'm now on a show called, sorry, I had a, I had a beer in the car, so I'm trying not to burp. <clears throat> I, uh, I'm on a show called Penny Dreadful now with um, Natalie Dormer and Nathan Lane and Rory Kinnear and all of these incredible actors. Um, so I feel very grateful just to be just to be working, to be honest. It's quite, quite hard just to get work. So just to clarify, because Penny Dreadful used to be a show on Showtime. Is it is it brought back or is it a different show completely? So it's in, it's in, an entirely new version of the show under the guise of the Penny Dreadful. So it's uh, this version is about 1938 Los Angeles. That's all I can say. Okay, so you can't tell us your character or any of that? No? No, I don't think so, no. I will, I'm sure that they've released something. And I, I know I've read it, and I know what I'm allowed to say, and I've uh, forgotten, and I'm panicking now, to be honest. So I'm, I'm trying to say as little as possible and not accidentally pull a Tom Holland and, you know, ruin the end of the Avengers. Like, I'm trying not to do that as much as I can. Well, my last question for you is, what Shadowhunter cast member do you talk to the most, whether it's texting, FaceTiming, calling? Uh, it's Alberto and Matt I speak to quite a bit. I'm seeing Matt at the end of the month and then again at the beginning of next month for a birthday and Alberto lives right down the street from me so I'd consider both of them in the world of my best friends and I, I miss them dearly when they're not here.